Hi everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the what is the significance of MAC number in case of lateral or line sizing. Okay, when I say the lateral sizing, so it means outlet lateral sizing, right? So we will discuss that what is the significance of MAC number in this sizing and why we consider the MAC number. Okay, what the MAC number tells us, okay, when we do the outlet lateral sizing or line sizing when i say the line sizing so it is for mainly for the gas or vapor okay for liquid it is not that much important right so we will also talk about the what is the meaning of subsonic what is the meaning of chalked flow what is the meaning of supersonic or hypersonic right so that we will discuss in this video so when we do the outlet lateral sizing okay in the psv you will like we do the inlet lateral sizing for the PSV then the outlet lateral sizing whether you are like outlet of that PSV is going to the at atmosphere or to the flare okay we do the outlet lateral sizing so in that case if your PSV is handling the vapor service or gas service so this MAC number plays a very important role but why that we are going to discuss in this video so first of all we will discuss with what is MAC number so basically the Mach number is nothing but a way to compare the speed of gas okay which you are handling let's suppose in my case I am handling the CO2 okay moving through a pipe to the speed of sound in that gas so what the, the what is the meaning of this it means that simply Mach number is your gas velocity or your object velocity which is flowing into the pipeline to the speed of sound we compare the flow speed to the sound speed as simple as that okay and when we calculate this so we find the three results mainly one when your mac number is less than one when the mac number is equal to one when mac number is greater than one now what is the meaning of this this we will see in our upcoming slide now what are the application of this mac number so you will see when we size the psv mainly in the so when we do the outlet lateral sizing okay the mac number plays a very important role when we deal with the jet engines when we deal with the gas pipeline when we deal with the supersonic aircraft when we deal with the hypersonic missiles or any missiles we consider the mac number whenever we talk about the aircraft sizing or designing we consider the Mach number right now what is the meaning of subsonic flow when we say subsonic what is the meaning of it it means that your Mach number will be less than one what is the meaning of it it means that simply your gas velocity your gas velocity will be less than the speed of sound or sound velocity we can say right i hope you got this point then only this mac number will be less than one and this is our preferable design okay why because in this case your gas moves slower than the sound why because it is less than the speed of sound now your flow is stable okay quieter and controllable right for example like your co2 is flowing gently from 4 bar gauge to 2 bar gauge it is only possible when your mac number is less than 1 when it will increase or when it will be equal to 1 or increase more than 1 then this you cannot like your co2 cannot flow from 4 bar gauge to 2 bar gauge okay i will tell you later why second is chalked flow when your mac number is equal to 1 then what happens that your gas reaches the speed of sound at the narrowest point narrowest point means at the like let's suppose okay, at the control wall or at nozzle at psv nozzle okay in that point you will see your mac number is approaches towards the one and in that case your gas velocity becomes somehow equal to the your speed of sound then in that case what will happen that your flow rate cannot increase even if you reduce the downstream pressure more right and it happens often in your relief walls or blow down walls then 
वी टॉक अबाउट द सुपर सोनिक फ्लो वे मैक नंबर इज ग्रेटर देन वन सो ऑब्वियसली वेन द मैक नंबर इज ग्रेटर देन वन इट मीन्स योर गैस वेलासिटी इज फास्टर देन द साउंड ओके एंड इट कैन कॉज द सॉक वेव्स लाउड नॉइज वाइब्रेशन एंड इट कैन डैमेज टू द पाइप लाइन एंड देयर कुड बी द मकैनिकल फेलियर सी वी आर लिमिटेड टू दी लेटरल साइजिंग ओके लेटरल साइजिंग वी आर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द लेटरल साइजिंग और यू आर लाइन साइजिंग इन केस ऑफ गैस और वेपर सो वी विल नॉट प्रिफेयर दिस कंडीशन ओके इन अवर केस वी नॉर्मली consider that mac number should be less than 1 or to be precise less than 0.7 right so just i am telling that if the mac number becomes equal to 1 or greater than 1 then what will happen now it is not desirable in most industrial pipeline as i told you earlier now what is the significance of mac number in case of lateral or line sizing so simply when we do the lateral sizing or line sizing see when i talk about a lateral sizing you can or pipe sizing you can do it for the side branches you can do it for the blow down you can also do it for the relief systems right so it helps us to tell first of all whether your flow is subsonic sonic supersonic right it will tell us how based on the mac number mac number is less than 1 or equal to 1 or greater than 1 and it affecting the pressure drops velocity limits and noise consideration and these all points are very very important when we size or when we do the lateral sizing because let's suppose if the velocity limit exceeds if the noise limits exceed so what will happen obviously your mechanical failure could be there okay like the stress will have to work more and actually it is not stable design right so that's why we we always check it out these all the points and if it is within our limit it's good if not then we will have to increase the size or we will have to take some other step now as i i have already told you about the flow design like if mac number is less than 1 or mac number is equal to 1 or mac number is greater than 1 so what will happen when mac number is less than 1 your flow is subsonic so your uh, pressure waves can travel upstream okay means it can simply go from p1 to p2 area where p1 is greater than p2 and the normal pressure drop calculation can apply if the mac number is 1 so your flow reaches choked flow okay and we do not want that condition right where velocity cannot increase further despite pressure drop if you if you will reduce the pressure drop even velocity cannot increase if the mac number is greater than 1 your flow is supersonic okay and requiring specialized design consideration due to shock waves and expansion effects if you cannot eliminate it then you will have to require a specialized design consideration and in the pipeline we do not consider these both point actually right if the mac number increases greater than 5 then this goes to the hypersonic flow right which we like mainly see in a news about the hypersonic train or bullet train hypersonic train right then it also helps us in preventing excessive pressure drop and noise if the see if the mac number will increase obviously your uh, velocity is going to increase your pressure drop is going to increase which can cause excessive vibration which you do not want because it can lead to the mechanical failure then there is a noise and even erosion in the lateral branch could happen okay then if i talk about the industry standards typically so for gas lines we keep the mac number between 0.3 to 0.6 or 0.7 and if i talk about the relief lines and blow down lines so typically we keep it below 0.2 to 0.3 now please let me in the comments box what typically range you follow when you do the lateral sizing and the gas sizing or gas line sizing right then the choked flow consideration that we have also we have discussed about it see in the relief and blow down system if mac number increases or mac number reaches 1 so the lateral pipe may experience 
chogged flow when i say the chogged flow obviously your flow will not go ahead right and it will like your flow your flow will be restrict now it will limiting the mass flow rate and affecting the system performance then the special attention is needed for pressure relief valves vent lines and compressor discharge system to avoid unexpected flow restriction mainly we in that case mainly we increase the size okay and we check it out all we like we what we do we create the line segment for example let's suppose 3 to 2 inch then 2 to 1 inch like that okay and we provide the successive reducer okay then the structural integrity and safety it is also very very important if you are high velocity flow in lateral branches can cause acoustic failure mechanical failure and excessive reaction forces at fitting could definitely weak that point okay and your piping could be fail right so sizing lateral branches correctly ensures reduced turbulence and lower chances of failure due to high speed gas impact it is very important when we do the line sizing for the gas or lateral sizing so must check it out that what is your mac number okay if it will go like more than one or approaches to one or too much then the acoustic failure mechanical failure okay it can affect your fittings as well okay so that could lead to the damage to your plant or damage to the money as well right so these points are very very important so what we conclude in this video we discussed about the mac number we discussed about the what is the flow design like subsonic sonic supersonic okay we also discussed about the what is the significance of mac number in our lateral sizing okay so i hope you learned something new from this video if you have any doubt in this video please let me in the comments box that's all for the today's video thanks for watching keep learning thank you